Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Stavalski. American Hockey League action continues on the ice tonight. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. The Roadrunners start with possession as we are now underway. Knocks the puck loose. Tries to get it over to Gettinger. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Tucson's got the puck along the wall. Hepping's taking it from his own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Takes a shot. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We've still got zeros on the board. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Grand Rapids plays the puck along the boards. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Well, he's frustrated with this call, and he cannot argue it with the official. But guess what? It's going to be a call. It's not getting changed. to win the draw to continue this power play. Grand Rapids wins possession right off the draw. And now he moves it quickly to Snively. Back to the point it goes. Sends a pass over. Passes it over. And that goes off a player in front. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They are really applying the squeeze. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. The Griffin's looking against the half wall. Feeds it over. Dishes it off. Tucson's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Gets it out of his own end. And he comes up with it. Onyibuchi's penalty is almost expired. And he maintains possession of the puck here. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. The Roadrunners will be forced to serve two minutes of cross-checking. The Griffins once again send out their power play unit. On a five-on-three with all that ice available and the defensive coverage in the middle of the ice, you have to find a way to pull them outside just a little bit. Sometimes a shot does that. What it does, they react to the shot and the rebound, guess what? Open lanes. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. The Roadrunners win it in the defensive zone. And a successful clearing attempt. Handles the puck. Centering feed. Picked off in front. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Hebbings recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. And off the draw, they win possession. Tries to get the puck over to Kellerman. Tucson's on the attack. Grabbed along the boards by Kellerman. Grand Rapids has it behind the net. Nice speed at center, moves up ahead now. And the puck dies with the trapper save. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Pagansky's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. 
loses his balance on the play. Oh, he got huddled by Kosa. Quick feed to tries. Both sides digging into that puck along the wall. Shine's got it across the line. And a solid effort by the penalty killers as we are back to even strength. Well, that's just a great sequence of events with that power play unit, the way they were moving the puck, the execution with their passes and the scoring chances that they did get. Hey, sometimes it doesn't go in, but if they continue that, you got to figure their numbers are going to go up. More than half the period left to play. We're still scoreless. Lombardi's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. Feeds the puck over to McCartney. On the attack along the boards. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Doucette. Moves it to Lombardi. The Roadrunners get a hold of the puck in their own end. Here they come on the attack. Nice zone entry from the left. Here's a shot. Scores! transition and they create the numerical advantage. Odd man rush perfectly executed. Speed, puck movement, and of course finish. Grand Rapids has been pushing and pushing and pushing and it finally pays off getting the first goal here. Well, you know what the data says about the team that gets the first goal, James, and you always want to get the first one because you know that typically you find a way to win the game because you set the tone, you've got the energy, and you created the pace. Here's a short pass to Didier. Skates across the blue line. And he slides it quickly to Firo. Moves the puck over to Drew. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. And he can't hang on after that hit. And he shuts the door again. On the sequence of saves, I love how strong he is in his set position in here, James. You can see that he gets square to the shooter, and that makes the second save easier. Moves it over to Lagerson. Here's a chance. Oh, an unbelievable stop by Wells. And there's another stop. Battling for it along the boards. Tucson's got a hold of it against the wall. Oh, and a smart heads-up play. Oh, a clutch save! Taken along the wall by Ratu. Passes it over to Moore. Slides it across. Quick pass to Connaughton. Fantastic save! Feeds it to Gettinger. Grand Rapids is across the blue line. Jostled off the puck. Tucson's moving it along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Ratu. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Kosa. The Griffins have been the better team in this first period. More scoring opportunities, and as a result, more goals. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. And now it's grabbed by Kellerman. Let's go! Coming, couldn't you? I mean, the energy was starting to shift, and they get rewarded with that goal. You see players working from this area all the time in practice. A quick snapshot, goalie can't get set to position in time, and it winds up in the back of the net. the midway mark in this period. It's all tied up. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Grand Rapids gains a hold of it. Still has possession. Grand Rapids with possession in their own zone. Grabs the puck. Quick feed to Hebe. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Centering feed! That's intercepted. Across the line along the left wall. Quick shot. Scores! There it is. The go ahead goal. And how good does that feel? You can see the selling. The energy is certainly there. And now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift critically important.
Well, it's going to be a quick release that gets it done here, James, but I'm more impressed with him getting to position. you got to fight to get to those areas. It's tough in there. You pay the price, and because he does, he scores a goal. Grand Rapids has gone ahead by one here in the opening frame, but the way things have been playing out, I feel like this is only the beginning here, Cheryl. Now, uh, when you play with the lead, sometimes you can take a breath. You can just have that sense of relief, and you just ease up on your stick a little bit, James. I really like their habits, though, their attention to details in this game. Now they got to find a way to continue that effort and see if they can extend the lead by more than just one. Here in the late going of the frame, Grand Rapids is trying to build on that one goal lead. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. The Roadrunners have it now. And he takes the pass. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. The Roadrunners play it along the wing. Tucson's got a hold of the puck now. Poked away by the goaltender. Inside the final minute of the first here. The score! And that's back-to-back -back goals! Well, nothing like switching momentum and putting your opponent on their heels than getting two in a row. Well, he had his eyes on the puck. He trapped it perfectly and got himself set to position, James. I thought he had it. He got a good chunk of it, but he didn't get it all. Grand Rapids has capitalized on their scoring opportunities and lead as a result here late in the first. Puck is dropped. Play resumes. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Moves it to McGregor. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Passes it to Lombardi. That'll do it for period number one. We'll drop the puck on the second period in just moments. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Grand Rapids showing a ton of confidence when they're around the net. They've got an aggressive approach. They're not afraid to attack the net. This is still a tight one, but it's been a high-scoring affair. Cross is going to slow it down here and hang on for the whistle. Well, a good decision right there to dictate the tempo of the game, especially when he hasn't been busy. He's engaging right now. Lots of time left in this period. The Griffins have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. The Roadrunners win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Grand Rapids has been the more active team offensively tonight, and they lead it early in the second. The Griffins come up with the defensive zone draw. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Here's a shot! There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Moments away from the faceoff. Let's get back to the action. The Griffins win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Blocked in traffic. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this chance. Takes a shot. Oh, and just gets a piece of it. Costa has been solid here tonight, James. I mean, look at his save percentage. He's been excellent between the crease, and that's making the saves that you need to and you want to at the appropriate moment. Man, his team's been effective going north. That's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. They've got some momentum here. Oh, close save and a beauty. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Tucson's got the win off that draw. And he handles a cross ice pass. Puck grab by Ratu. Stopped by Kosa. Scrum along the boards. And a 
bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. From behind the net, looks to break out. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Here's a short pass to Ratu. The Griffins have it from their own end. Here we go, one man rush. Feeds it over. Scores! There's are playing what might be their most impressive performance that I've seen all season, and we're only at period number two, Sheriff. Yeah, I mean, their offense has simply exploded, hasn't it, James? I mean, they have been a force to be reckoned with, and it's a ton of fun when you're padding your stats. but what can they do with it now? They gotta build, or it's over. Tucson's goal here in period number two gives them at least something to start working up that mountain. Yeah, they've been crushed all game, and if they're gonna get up the mountain, it's gonna be a contribution from across the board that can't just be one player. It's gotta be a collective unit that goes after it and attacks. Shuts them down. Grand Rapids has the puck. Great defensive effort with the stick. Tucson's looking to break out of their own end. Dishes it to Barron. Quick pass to McGregor. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Turns that one away. Hannes has it in the defensive end. Didier's got it now deep inside his own end. Shot! Turns him away! And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. More than half the frame has been played here. The Roadrunners have a deep hole to dig themselves out of trailing by three. Tucson's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Hoops it away, great hand high. And that's picked off at the defensive end. Shot! Gets in front of it. Grand Rapids looks to get things going now with the puck. Sends the pass over. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. There's the physical side. The Roadrunners will play the puck from behind the net. Good read with the stick to break that up. 
Grand Rapids has possession of it now. And here's the pass to Snively. Laying the body. And they'll go the other way with a great play by Dello. The Wolves are dominating play, and in my opinion, James. This all starts to work away from the puck. When you close quickly, you retrieve it first. They've done an excellent job of that, and it's gone the other way, and they cashed in. Quick pass over to Sokolov. Looking to set up offensively. And he takes the dish. And that's punched away with the blocker. Puck picked up by Hebig. Oh, and he completely muffs the shot. Battle along the boards. And that's knocked away. Hard hit frees up the puck. From off the wall and onto a stick. Moves inside. Oh, stops him with a puck. Great, great flexes there. Well, this is just a great save from the slot area. I mean, he recognizes where that puck's going. He gives it top of the net, but he takes it away. to rest in this second intermission based on how they have looked so far tonight up there. Here's a chance. Oh, what a club save by Thornton. Here in the late goings of the period, Grand Rapids getting all sorts of offensive production tonight. They lead it 5-2. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And that's broken up. Tucson's gained possession along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Agassino. The Roadrunners carry it along the wall. Find some space in the corner. Scooped up along the wall by Barron. Unloads from the blue line. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Well, there you go. Two periods down. One more to go, at least for now, right? Third period just around the corner. line and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Grand Rapids has driven play through 40 minutes of it and they just have to continue that push through that third period, James. They want to make sure that they have the same energy to end the game as they had when it started. Scores! A huge goal here has put them right back into this one. Yeah, and if they can get one more, they'll be one away from tying this game up, James. So it's about building and continually finding ways to press and be aggressive on the puck. got one back, but Cheryl, they need more. They need more, and they're going to have to pay the price to get to the paint, the most coveted spot on the ice, fight through traffic, and find a way to get the puck to the net. Puck moved over to Gettinger. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Pass out front. Can't connect on the play. The Roadrunners have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Rips it. Tucson's got possession of the puck. Dished on over to Hebe. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. They've got numbers here. Picks up the puck in his own end. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Ratu. And he takes the feed. Grand Rapids on the attack. Handles the pass. Fires it on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Koss has got the puck, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Well, and this is a huge play right here. Just recognizing the tempo of the game and being able to dictate it. He's done it all night. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Tucson still behind the eight balls. They trail by two goals. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Tucson's got a hold of it along the wall. Scores! Well, just what the doctor ordered her in this 
taste the fan base. It's, a, it's amazing how a game can change within seconds and how the temperature meter can completely switch. And that's what's happened with this goal, James. You can certainly tell that the energy has shifted and they're looking for the equalizer. One goal game now. Tucson's got to be feeling confident now getting that one back, Cheryl. And it puts a lot of pressure on the opponent, James. They've held the lead and they've given up one. Now they're within one goal, which means it's striking distance in the third period. As a defender, you know when they're coming and they got to win this face off and dictate the pace. And it's a quick pass to Agassino. Gaining momentum up along the side. And he slides it quickly to Barron. And the defenders come up with the puck. Long reach breaks up the momentum. The Roadrunners take it across the blue line. Picked up along the boards by Barron. Moves the puck. Here's a chance. Makes some space. Broken up by Barron. Picked up along the wall by Doucette. Dishes it off. From the slot, fires away. Oh, what another big stop! Well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. And some good footwork to kick it away. You gotta love these moments within a game, James. It's tight. The game really hasn't opened up. You gotta play free, but you have to play responsible as well. Big time stop! Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Koss has got the puck. He's going to hang on for a whistle and slow things down. Well, he's been shelled, hasn't he, James? He's weathered every storm that's been thrown at him, and now he elects to pounce on this puck. It's a nice, safe play. He anticipates well, and he holds on for the whistle. The Griffins start with the puck in their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Slides the puck over. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Takes the puck along the boards. Comes up with a big time glove save. Tucson's got it in their own zone. Can't keep a hold of it. The Griffins look to start the transition game. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Kotcha's stick handling in his own zone. Takes the feed. Tucson's on the attack. Now a quick pass to Anya Bucci. Into the corner of the attacking area. Too much traffic in the lane. They fight for it along the boards. Sokolov's got control of the puck in the corner. And now he moves it quickly to Anya Bucci. Block of save, and he's showing up big time tonight. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive, and they've really turned it up a notch now. Scooped up by the D. Grand Rapids plays it along the wing. From the opposite point, and that carries off a body in traffic. Feeds it down low. Grand Rapids will play the puck behind the net. Thornton's gonna hang on for a whistle. Here in the later stages of this period, the Griffins are holding on to a one goal lead, and it's 5 4. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. Along the half wall with the puck. Fires it! There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Tucson's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Grabbed along the boards by Ratu. The Roadrunners get a hold of the puck along the boards. The Griffins have it now. Under a minute to go in the third. Quick feed to Rafferty. Puts it on the
slide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. And after the draw center, they've got a hold of the puck. Doucet is going to play it against the half wall. McGregor's into the offensive zone now on the attack. And that goes off course off of body. The Roadrunners have pulled the goaltender here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice in hopes of a goal. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Taken by Kellerman. Big time stop there. Final seconds of this one, and the home fans certainly appreciate that they got their money's worth tonight. attacker on the ice. Possession is critical. Got to win this face-off. And that will close the book on this one here tonight. What an energy in the building tonight here, Cheryl. I mean, this thing had a little bit of everything. And <laughs> I didn't want it to end. Well, in particular in the first period with a number of goals, high-flying offense, but then everyone kind of settled in throughout the game and got back to playing some defensive hockey. Thanks so much for joining us here. It was a fun one to call, and we will see you soon for all of us here at EA Sports. Stay safe.